Hi guys, I know it's been a while but I've been doing a lot of reorganisation and reordering of my room and my wardrobe because I've moved back home from uni. So I thought I'd give you guys a tour of everything. So I am showing you guys my bedroom first as you guys can see. It's a pretty small space so I wanted to keep it really really light and airy and really go for a monochrome theme with a few statement pieces and a few pops of colour but nothing too much. And I really since the beginning of designing my room have been insistent on keeping it as a sleeping space only and that is simply because it is so small. So I've got a few statement pieces like this lamp which is a pop of colour and then I've also got this lampshade which I really love, it's really pretty and casts really nice shadow patterns at night time and it breaks up the white ceiling and white walls. And then I have my picture wall which has a mixture of some pops of colour and some black and white pictures too. And then another statement piece that I loved was my bedside table. My bed which you saw earlier is also pretty simple, it's just a cream plain wooden frame and across from my bedside table I've got this tall shelving unit which again is simple, it doesn't clash too much with the other colours because it is just a neutral white colour but I feel like the height really adds something different and it makes the room look a little bit less minimalistic but not too overpowering if that makes sense. The yellow decorative pieces really tie in the rest of the yellow from the room and it's a great place to keep my phone while I sleep and to have my nighttime reading book. So that is my bedroom and my sleeping space and now I'm going to show you guys my walk-in wardrobe which is also now my office space. As soon as you walk in you have these two black drawer sets in front of you and I'm going to start off by showing you guys my Indian accessories. So we have all of my clutch bags that I can accessorise with my outfits and then I have on the side these bindis. So I've got all different designs, big packs, small packs. I don't really wear them that often but you've got to have them. And then in this little bag basically I have all my English jewellery just shoved in there. So I've got this cute little choker. I have my plain bangle sets and then I also have these bigger bangles that you can separate the plain bangles with. And then on the left hand side here I have all my earrings and thicker sets with some necklaces too. And they are all lined up in there and that's pretty much everything that I've got that you're looking at. And then I've got two boxes at the back with big earrings in it, like loads of mixed up earrings in it. And then I also have this makeup bag which is just full of face masks. So I have this nip and fab one, I have one of those black masks, loads of glam glow masks. We've got this little glam glow sample, this lip moisturiser, a Champneys mask, a Murad mask. I think this is just a super drug. No, a boots one more glam glow. I've got way more than I can possibly justify. I've got a little bit of a mask obsession. More boots. Then I've got this little lip treatment from glam glow, another glam glow mask. So basically I just have a shit ton of face masks and I have no idea why. I just love them. But basically on the left hand side of this drawer I have a drawer full of skincare but it's not tidy enough for you guys to see that today so I've just skipped that one. The wardrobe slash new office space is again a small space so I've tried to keep it neutral, light and airy, very monochrome. I've got a lineup of my shoes underneath this clothing rack. Unfortunately it's not all of my shoes there, it's just a very small selection. The rest are just shoved into my bed. I've got my desk space here to work off. A glass desk really, really helps to keep the room light and airy. It doesn't make the room look any smaller than it already is and it's really great for that. And just because it's really cold in this room, I have my little rug and a fluffy chair. The chair actually just has another rug over it. It's actually just a cheap £20 IKEA chair. And then I've got a few small decorative pieces on the edge of my desk, a little phone holder and my laptop, nothing too cluttered. It's pretty simple and clean. I 
I got my glass desk from Argos. Spotlights are pretty much the only lights I have in here and then I have a big spotlight lamp. I really wanted to share this new space with you guys because it really did take a lot of time and effort to reorganise, throw things out, bring new things in, build them and sort it all out and I thought it was a cute chic new area that I would be in quite a lot of the time so why not share it with you guys. It's nothing large or extravagant or expensive. It was all done on a budget, but I feel like it's always fun to see other people's makeup collections and other people's stuff, get inspiration for some more affordable options as well. And then I've got this shelving unit with some baskets in it to hide away some of the mess to the left of my desk. Again, I've really stuck to that black and white theme. And then I've also got my perfumes on one side, so that's all a mix up. Now over to my makeup drawers, if you know me and you have me on snapchat you'd know that I used to have the good old trolley because it was easy to transport between home and uni but now I've got these drawers and it's got a really nice fold out mirror and I keep my brushes on top. So all of my drawers look a little bit messy but I know where everything is so that's fine. I've got all my facial oils and creams, primers, setting sprays and then random contour sticks and highlighters and then I also have my primers all in here and some BB creams the NYX illuminator, the cover effects primer sample a Rimmel stay matte primer sample and then to the right I've got my concealers so a little bit of shape tape um, the Maybelline Age Rewind again it's not an extensive collection of makeup but I just thought it would be interesting to show you guys what I do have and how I do have it organised. So I've got the little NYX corrector, which I love. And then I've got my little Lancome conceal and correct. Then I have my foundations. I've got the Lancome one, Makeup Forever. I've got some True Match by L'Oreal, Armani Luminous Silk, the Bobbi Brown Moisturising Foundation. I've got two Hourglass foundations. I think one is in the colour beige and the other is in the colour buff. I have no idea why I have to, but they're amazing, so I'm not complaining. And then I've got my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte. In the second drawer I have all of my lips and my eyeliners and mascaras. So I've got my lip moisturiser, I've got a few lip liners in the back there, some liquid lipsticks, it's kind of separated into nudes and then pinks and then darker colours, deeper colours. So I think that was my pinks, as you can tell, these are definitely my nudes. So I've got a little selection of everything in there, some Too Faced, some Sephora, a little bit of Kat Von D, can't go amiss. And then I've got my sharpeners for my eyeliners and lip liners. So I've got the big ones for the Bobbi Brown lip pencils, which I love. And then I've got my sample mascaras, I've got two sets of tweezers and my eyelash curlers there as well. And then a little bit of lash glue. And then the rest of my mascaras. I love this YSL one. And then I have my three key things. My soft ochre paint pot. My Kiko black gel liner. And my NYX brow gel. And this is the pot with the deeper colours in there. And then in the little eye section I have all sorts of eyeliners, eye primers. So uh, pencil liners, um, that chubby liner, the Kat Von D, the tattoo ink liner. And some brow gel in there too. And that is that second drawer. And then in this drawer I have all of my palettes and my little eyeshadows. So I've got this Makeup Revolution Metal Look one. My Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. Which I love. My NARS and Steam and Klein palette. And then I've got my Huda Beauty, my Too Faced Chocolate Bar, my Tartlet in Bloom, Naked, more Too Faced ones. And then I have my individual eyeshadows and my Kiko Glitters, this ABH eyeshadow single, which I also love. And then I have a couple of sets of beauty blenders, so the ones I use, and then some backups. And then my face palette, so I've got like my Huda Beauty highlighter palette, contour kit. I also have the Laura Geller highlighter palette so the gelato swirl one and then i have the makeup revolution blush palette my beyond powder from ila masca which is gorgeous and then a little cream blush and my nars compact 
and then I have all my powders, so my blushes, my contour powders, my individual highlighters and my setting powders in a little tray as well. And I have little cotton pads in case I need them and of course some little, I call them earbuds, you know, for the mascara mistake. So that is pretty much most of my makeup done with. In this drawer I have my makeup removers. I love this Clinique one and my simple eye makeup remover. I have my beauty blender cleanser with my little pal mat which I love for cleaning brushes and my Real Techniques brush cleansing gel which is also fantastic. And then I've got a couple of bits of makeup that I've not opened like lipsticks and eyelashes hidden under there. And then my lash book which is amazing. It's got all of my lashes in one bit and a little kit for applying them with glue and some tweezers and scissors and it's a great way to just have all your lashes in one place. In my final drawer that I'm going to share with you guys, I've got my hair stuff, so root spray, hair oil, some, some wide grips, some bobby pins, my hair curlers, tangle teasers, some fake hair, and some hair padding, and hairspray, straighteners, hot tools, combs, everything you can imagine to create the biggest and the most simplest hairstyles. And that is pretty much it and everything that I can show you guys from my little room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video. I hope you picked up some tips and inspiration for your own room and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to comment or contact me. I'm always happy to answer anything. I will hopefully be back now with some regular videos after my long break so do look out for more videos weekly and also my Indian wedding get ready with me series 2 will be out soon. Again thank you so much for watching and take care.